Good afternoon, I'm Bob and Roberta Smith and I'm broadcasting to you from the Leighton Stone Centre of Contemporary Art which in actual fact is a shed I built in my back garden to be an art gallery. But this is a party political broadcast on behalf of the Art Party of the USA. <laughs> The Art Party is not a formal political party, but it is a pressure group of people who are concerned about the government diminishing the importance of art within schools, within higher education and within our museums and galleries. Through our public collections, all British peoples own art. The Art Party groups together people who are concerned about art across from the whole political spectrum to advocate art to government. All children should make, design and draw objects until they are 18 years old. Vibrant culture happens when people from different backgrounds come together and when we see people fight for recognition and also when people come together in an ensemble to make a film or to make a, a piece of music or a play or a dance. Everything is made. All human production has been designed and thought about by human beings who have started with a blank sheet of paper and a pencil in order to innovate. Art in schools must always be about practical activity, not just enjoyment and appreciation. Art rooms and workshops are more expensive and less flexible than classrooms and that's really the root of the problem. Politicians and accountants see them as uh, resources that can be cut. We have to fight to maintain those resources for our children so that young people can experience the joy and also the importance of making things and constructing the future. Art makes children powerful. Give a child a pencil and paper, some paint and some brushes, and you teach that child how to sing. You give that child a voice. Art is the one subject at school where children have all the right answers. Artists take control. In 2011, the political activist and artist Ai Weiwei was arrested. And from that point, we understood that art is really about freedom and democracy. Creating things, making things happen, is the opposite of destruction and war. Current political thinking would have teachers restrict access to blank sheets of paper and pencils to children as young as four and five. And so we need to fight that in order to maintain a free and vibrant democracy. I like art being taught in secondary education. Current government policy is in danger of discarding the talent of the many. Art is hope, art is the future. The link between blank sheets of paper and pencils and innovation is inescapable. Art is not a gift from the rich or educated to the public, but an attribute of all human beings. Why is this movement called the Art Party of the USA? It is called the Art Party of the USA because the S in the arts stands for stimulus. In the depth of the 1930s, in the Depression, American leaders like Roosevelt came up with the idea of the Works Progress Administration and they devised a fantastic cultural investment in America to show that there was hope and that there would be a future. Roosevelt's foresight in the 1930s led to America's renaissance in the 1950s. Rather than cutting social programs, we need cultural investment. The future will be designed by young people who can draw and imagine possibilities which perhaps we can't imagine. Creativity is about rebellion. Our government needs a plan for the arts. 
It needs to think that art will be at the centre of Britain's rejuvenation. We have to invest in our young people now in order that they design a vibrant and dynamic economy in the decades to come. How do you join the Art Party? Well, you're probably already a member of the Art Party if you're wearing clothes <laughs> that have been designed by somebody. But to join the Art Party, all you need to do is to make your own art, advocate art, call for a, a national plan to cherish and celebrate the arts and demand that all schools are art schools. Thank you.